Now this is a lesson that if we uh, if we pay pay pretty good attention to, we stay pretty well on task. Uh, we should have a, a fair amount of work time at the end here, right? Just kind of heads up on that. Um, so we have three different angle relationships when the vertex is not at the center. So whenever our vertex or our angle is not at the center, we want it to be a central angle. But if it's not, then we have three different scenarios. The first is where the vertex is on the circle. The vertex is on the circle. So this would be when a tangent, this line down here, a tangent, and a chord intersect. The vertex is on the circle, and this would be our angle. An inscribed angle, we, kind of, we talked about those before. That's not new to us. And we, what do we know about the inscribed angle versus the arc? Versus what? What do, what do you mean? Half the arc, okay? And it's going to be the same thing too. We take this arc and we divide by two. So the formula is the angle is equal to your arc divided by two. So the angle is equal to whatever your arc is divided by two. So that's whenever your vertex is on the circle. That'll be the case. So whether it's inscribed and the vertex is right here, or it's a tangent and a chord and we have a vertex at point A. So we're looking at angle one. Then that will be uh, half of the arc as well. That's what we mean. So A is A. Correct. Yep. So A is the vertex in this one, and B is the vertex in this one. Okay. So where it says that little one in both of those, that's the angle that we need. Okay. Question. Who wants to know that the inscribed angle is not new to us? Who wants to kind of extend that um, to we have another way of the vertex on the circle? Second scenario is if we have the vertex inside the circle, so the first one is on, this one's vertex is inside the circle, but it's not at the center. So this is the center, the central angle. So we know it's just the same thing as we had up here. So if it's on um, the vertex inside the circle, but it's not at the center, then we'll say, okay, for example here, we'll do highlighter. Okay. So if we're looking at angle one, we would do its own intercepted arc. So the arc NQ, we would take that intercepted arc, and we would also take the vertical angle's intercepted arc. So from angle one, from angle one, we know it should be congruent with this vertical angle. The vertical angles are opposite it, the two, the lines make two X's, okay? You guys remember those? And they're always congruent. So we'll take its own intercepted arc as well as its vertical angle's arc, and we'll add them together. So we'll take arc, measure of arc NQ, in this scenario, and measure of arc PO, we add them together and divide by two. So we're still dividing by two like we did on the circle. This time, we just add the arcs together and divide by two. So to figure out measure of angle two, which two arcs are we going to add together? Measure of arc OQ, its own intercepted arc, as well as the measure of arc PN, its vertical angles intercepted arc. So this is like another vertical angle. Okay. So we can OQ and arc PN. We add them together and then divide by two. So does it doesn't matter which one you add first? No, because when you add, you can add either way. Okay, so for our inside angle, our formula we're going to write down over here, we'll just say arc arc over what? Over two. Over two. Divided by two. Uh, so, uh, are you saying, that as long as we're still doing these two arcs, it doesn't matter how we do them. Okay? Good question. Nathan, Nathan's asking, hey, does it matter if we do NQ or QN? No. As long as we have it uh, as an arc, you can name it either way. Same thing. And the last one we'll learn is when the vertex is out by the circle. So the one of three scenarios is either on the circle, inside the circle, or outside. So if it's outside the circle, then um, that might be any of these three scenarios. We have a tangent, and it could be intersecting, and where's the vertex? A. That's not noted, but where is it? Inside, outside, or on? Outside. Outside, okay, so angle one is the angle we're talking about here. So we have two tangents, where's the vertex out, inside, out, or outside? Outside, angle one there. And then two secants is outside again. We're looking at this angle one here. Okay, all, all those angles, all those vertices are outside the circle. 
Now in each of these, we have two intercepted arcs. So we have this arc that's intercepted, and we also have this arc that's intercepted. Now, we'll say that one of those arcs is big, and one of those arcs is little. So here, which of these two arcs would be big? The TA or the BA? The BA would be the big arc, okay? So BA would be our big arc here. Okay, what would be our big arc in this one? BA or BCA? BCA. Okay, and they're both intercepted by these two changes. And then for our two segments, what's going to be our big arc? BA, okay? And now, if we have a big arc, that also means we probably have a little arc, okay? So in this first one, what would be our little arc? TA. Now, do these two arcs make up the whole circle? No. That's okay, okay? It's just whatever's intercepted. Okay, what would be our little arc here? TA. And does this make up the whole circle? Yeah, that's okay as well. It just depends on the scenario. Okay, and here, CD be our little arc. Okay? So what you do for this one, you do, uh, we'll call it, call it big arc. We'll take the big arc minus the little arc and divide by two. So all these would divide by two. Here we take whatever the big arc is minus the little arc divide by two. Now, the reason I say I have some fun with this one is because I end up abbreviating it. And I just, I just love this abbreviation stuff. It's great. Okay? So I end up abbreviating this, and I end up saying big arc. Well, we can call that bark, B, arc, big arc, bark, minus lark over two. And I, I just love it. I love it. I just love saying bark minus lark over two. There's just something about it that gets me every time. So you can just see like a smile, this cheesy smile out of my face. I just geek out over bark minus lark over two. I really do. Okay. So hopefully, if you remember anything from this chapter, anything from this year, it'll be that Mr. Falcon just loves bark minus lark over two. Okay. You'll be sitting like, you know, like five years from now, you'll be reflecting on your uh, soft, your uh, um, your sophomore, junior year, whatever it is, um, in geometry class, and you'll say, bark minus lark over two. And Mr. Falcon smiling at, uh, he's just so genuinely happy about bark minus lark over two. Um, I really, I love. I love Mark 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 Mark
Fart minus lark over two. Fart minus lark. So we take the big arc, subtract the little arc, divide by two, and that'll get our angle. So what's our big arc here? 170. How do we know that's a big one? Because it's big. Okay. What's our little arc? 72. And what do we divide by? Two. And that'll give us our angle. Okay. So we say, okay, what's 170 minus 72? 98. Divide by two. And that's will equal what? 49 degrees. Let's go. Why are you so hot? I love Bart minus Lark over 2. Oh, Imagine Okay, so we just say 170 minus 72 over 2. 170 minus 72 is equal. Yeah. So we didn't set it equal necessarily. We set this up and then said, oh, we need to solve that. So I feel like the answer is like For Bart minus Lark I love Bart Lark over two. Thank you. Oh, Questions on number two at all? Alright, let's look at number three. Okay, so where's our vertex at? Inside, but is it at the center? No. No, so we aren't able to use central angles. If it's at the center, we can use central angles. Right arc arc plus okay. arc divided by three. Boom. Arc plus arc of the root of x over two, okay? Three. Go ahead and find two and fix that. Make it a small thing right there. Okay. Yeah. Can you do 140 plus 112? Oh, my God. Well, here's the thing. We gotta, we gotta process through this, okay? Yeah. So we say, okay, what angle are we trying to find? X. X, okay? Uh, What's its own three. intercepted arc? 140. 140, okay? So 140 is one of those. What's the other, what's its vertical angle intercept? 112. 112. 112. So those are the two arcs we use. Too good. So we say, we don't need that useless information. They're just trying to fool us, but we're not going to fall for it, okay? So 140 plus 112 over 2 is our setup, and that will equal our angle x, okay? Questions on this set up? Everything's 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
25. Hey, what's 25 funnier than? 22. 22. Okay, question number 8. No. no. Don't forget, Brock might as well go with you with that, okay? I love it.
Whereas if you put it in parentheses, you have 170, and then this 18 plus 4x becomes 170 minus 18 minus 4x. Are these the same thing? No, they're completely different. Because this has a plus sign, this has a minus sign. And they're very different, you get two different answers. The right way to do it is this bottom way, where you put it in the parentheses and you have to distribute that neighbor. Sorry about that, right? 170 minus 18 minus 4x over 2. Distribute that eight. How does that take care? And how would you get rid of two? How would you get rid of that two? How do we get rid of it? Multiply both sides by two. Multiply both sides by two. Okay, we're going to put an entire sign. Just put it in parentheses. I'm going to show you which one. Two. One seventy minus eighteen minus four x is equal to. Okay, what's two times four x? Four. What's two times sixteen? Bam. Okay, that's all six. Take a second here. Write it down. We're all on the same page. Questions on how we got to this point? Wow. Yeah. Okay, what's the question? Uh, where did this move to? Where did it move to? Where did it move to? Okay, so since we're dividing by 2, just like on that last one, that our x is up here, we want to get rid of this 2. So how do we get rid of this 2? Multiply. Multiply. So we multiply by 2 on one side, so we multiply by 2 on one side, half to the other side. So we multiply by 2. I took this negative and I had to distribute it over. Okay. So this became positive became negative, positive became negative. Okay. Okay. So now the difference between those two things are completely separate out. Good question. Any other question on how we got to here before we go to the problem? Okay. Now I'm out of room here, so I'm gonna end up go to here. Okay. 170 minus 18 is 18 minus 4x. If it asks us to find an angle, could we just immediately plug it back in? Yeah, we could. Right now, we're just asked to find x. Questions on that? Finally. Got 20 minutes left. That's money. That's bark minus liquor over 2 for you. If you're listening to music. So please set it up in a timely manner. Don't take too long to change songs, that kind of stuff. <laughs> 